Do you? The camera's got sore on my head. All right, it's filming anyway. All right. Is it? You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, almost. <laughs> Can't do it again. <laughs> Oh, that's sour. Mm. Forget every time. Yeah, it doesn't go well with chicken crimpies. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's sharp. <laughs> All right. Good, so we're back on the beers, though, Chris. Yeah, exactly. I'm happy about that. So today we're doing a comparison. We're shooting same camera, same film. So the Nikon F5, mm -hmm. um, same lens. Yeah. Yep. Everyone's no, no, different, different lens. Was it? I got my zoom lens. Ah, yeah. that's right. You did um, too. But I'm shooting an orange filter and Brett isn't. So pretty good comparison. I, We've seen the images. Um, yeah. They're quite different, some of them. Yeah, just yeah. trying to see what a filter does. Mm. Um, you know, I haven't used filters much, but Chris got the orange one, so we thought we'd yeah. give it a try and we'll have a look at some photos and see the differences and let you compare and yeah. can make your mind up whether you want to get a filter or not. Yeah, so the reason I picked the orange one for this video is um, red's a bit harsh, yellow's not as harsh. I figure this is a pretty good one in the middle. So you get some of the dark skies and uh, yeah, the skin tones are white. They look pretty good. Really makes the blues dark. Yeah. But we'll have a look at that. Yeah. We'll see that in a sec. Cool. Awesome. Enjoy. Where's my beer? <laughs> not chimp. No. <laughs> not the Grimpies. They're not the best shapes anyway. Barbecue's the best. Oh, This one, I think, you can definitely see the difference between your sky, what the orange filter's doing there, because mm. the sky on my shot's quite washed out. Yeah. And on yours, it's quite dark, and you can you can see the cloud a lot better in yours than in mine. Mine kind of blends into the sky. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. I think your shot's the winner here. Um, I got a little bit too close and yeah, it's got that same sort of gray hue in the whites where you've got nice bright whites. Ah, the little dog, the dog. Yeah, this is another one where I think the whites are a little bit too, sort of not as bright as your whites. Your whites are nice and almost have a blue tinge to them. Um, Mine a little bit more grey. Well, yours is a bit flat, if, if yeah. you know what I mean, like yeah. if we're talking about that, like because the, the whites are muted, the image is a bit flatter. Mm. See, this one for me, I think yours, the, this really shows the difference in the filter. Mm. That shaft of light that divides your frame, I mean, it's there in mine, but it's not as prominent. Mm. Yeah, so walking along the river here, this is when you can kind of start seeing, really seeing the differences in the in the filter.
Yeah, look at look at the gradient in yours from, you know, you're getting rays of sunlight coming through there and then it, there's this slow gradient right up to that top left corner where it goes almost completely black like yeah. a vignette. And and then you've got this, the, the brightness of the sun hitting the water leading to the subject mm -hmm. of the boys moving the boat. Yeah, the filter's at its best here. I think, you know, when, you, when you're looking at dramatic sky, I think, you know, that that orange or yellow filter is really going to, red filter is going to make a really yeah. big difference. Yeah, red makes a huge difference. Whereas with mine, with no filter at all, this is where my image looks flat. Mm. So before we were talking about the dog, yours was looking flat. Yeah. Mine, you know, there's not a lot of interest there. Yours has got the drama of the sky against the silhouettes of the boys yeah. pulling the boat in. I think it's a great shot. You know, you've got so much more drama happening in the sky. I've got a little bit of, you know, sun rays coming mm. out of the bottom of that, the top of that cloud near the bottom. Yeah, so this basketball hoops, I mean, we approached it slightly differently. Um, I stood a bit further back, but just very generic shots, I guess. <laughs> Everyone takes photos of basketball hoops. Yeah, sorry, there's no petrol stations or gas stations for those of you in America. Um, yeah. Next time. <laughs> but definitely basketball hoops, a uh, common film photographer cliche shot. Um, mine's probably more cliche than Chris's, to be honest. Your composition's great. I mean, I, I took one of a different puddle with you and I yeah. missed focus on you and I missed focus on the puddle, so I really just fucked that whole thing yeah, up. Yeah, yours is just so much brighter. Mine's just got that sort of dull greys. Yeah, I like the drama of what's in the puddle, though, because that silhouette's really, really dark mm. and striking. Mm. I think, um, again, it shows the filter really, really well, what it can do, um, for sure. Yeah. Whereas mine, without the filter, you're losing that drama in the sky yeah. again. Well, yeah. Filters do make a difference. They do. Yeah. I hope you guys like that. Um, if you have any questions, let us know below. And let us know if you've shot filters before. And yeah, yeah show us some sample prefer. shots on Instagram. Send us some stuff. Mm. Or Twitter. We're on Twitter now. We're yeah. part of the cool film community. We've yeah. made the jump. We're everywhere. Yeah. But um, look, my thoughts on the filter overall is know what you're using the filter for. Mm. And that, that, you know, little compare video we've just done there really bears out, you know, sometimes you don't want the filter, other yeah. times you really do want the filter. Yeah. So it's good to know exactly which filter you're using and what effect you're gonna get. Cause you're not gonna see it through the camera. Chris yeah. was seeing everything in orange. Yeah. Um, so you kind of gotta know. I think that's yeah. what I learned from that process is, yeah, it works well in that situation, but not so well in that yeah. situation. And with these Hoyer filters, I, um. They come in such a handy little case, it protects them. So I usually just keep it in my pocket if I'm shooting that lens. And um, if I know I'm doing landscape shots, I'll just take it with me. Yep. Yeah. And look, shout out to Green Beacon. Yeah. Seven Bells, passion fruit goes a style ale. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's a nice sour. Um, unfortunately, they're not independent anymore. They're owned by Asahi. Yeah, so the Japanese own them, but they haven't changed the, men, uh, the, the um, recipe. Mm, okay. And they're just down the road. Yeah, yeah just up the road. So if you're ever in Good Brisbane, day. hit us up. We'll take you on a brewery tour. Yeah, your shout. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. yeah, no. We'll give you a roll of film. <laughs> yeah, good idea. And you can buy the beers. We won't tell you what film it is, so <laughs> dig around the back of my So finish. if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Subscribing really yeah. helps. Um, you know, we're never going to be millionaires out of this YouTube stuff. We just do it because it forces us to go out and shoot. Yeah. And um, thanks again for watching. Uh, we love yeah. your support. And um, we're back on the beers for the next one. Yeah, perfect. Cheers.
Thank you.